Uh, anytime Tulsa and Wichita State get together, it's not, there's not gonna, the coaches aren't going to have to do too much to get either side up for the game because it's a great rivalry. And this, this is, of course, a, 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 it always is a big game. And so both teams will be motivated to play hard basketball. Wichita, Kansas. A share of first place is on the line this afternoon as Tulsa meets Wichita State in the Missouri Valley Game of the Week. Our line finally clears it off the floor. Two on one break. This is Sherrod. Holy cow. Yes. What a rebound and what a dunk. He came out of nowhere. That looks like Michael Jordan when he does things like that. It really does. Tulsa has performed very well all season for that man. Nolan Richardson of the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. You better watch this by the X-Man earlier this afternoon. You talk about athletic ability. Here it is. Out of nowhere. My goodness, with one hand. <laughs> Wayne, you couldn't jump that high if you jumped it. They really are getting after it. Aubrey Sherrod on this first field goal. Nolan Richardson urging his troop. Herbert Johnson. Had it partially blocked. Coleman back the other way. They've got a two-on-one. Xavier McDaniel to Henry Carr. Got a foul coming up. Let's, Let's see if they score the field goal. I believe Smithson. There's Nolan Richardson. Great coaching matchup. Nolan is 113, but Tracy Moore picks up. Moore on the drive draws a foul at the very least. Or does he? Apparently, it's going to go against Tulsa. Technical foul assessed against the Golden Hurricane. And I believe the foul going to go against Tulsa. Coach Richardson came flying off the bench. I mean, literally flying. I didn't know he could move that quickly anymore. When they sort it out, I believe here is what the story will be. The foul will be on Tracy Moore. Then that drew a technical foul response from Wichita, or rather from uh, Tulsa. Nolan Richardson very heated at the moment. We will shoot the technical foul. A two-shot technical foul. Wichita. Well, David Moss gets three of the five-point deficit back. Two-point lead, Wichita State. Full court pressure by Tulsa. The inbound stolen by Harris for his first two points of the game. And it may be a very big basket. He hasn't scored yet. Wichita State again having problems on the inbounds. Xavier McDaniel. Now, Gerard had it batted away by Harris to Johnson to Moss. What we talk about in the top of the show. Defense triggering offense. It's the same old story for Tulsa. Yeah. And they've tied the game. Got two at the line for Harris. Nine-point lead. Tulsa on top. McDaniel, Clinton Ormore looks to move it across now. Hapke can't handle the high pass. McKinney to Johnson. Johnson for two. Let's talk about the high pass. The high pass was created because Herbert... Harris taken away in the backcourt by Sherrod and company. They do have enough time. Sherrod to McDaniel. <laughs> Traveling the call. Do not score the field goal. Oh, boy. Let's see it right here. McDaniel gives it up to Sherrod, who gives it back to the X-Man. Plants both feet and dunks it. I don't know. Well, definitely. Anytime you come into a program and you start it off, and the expectation is not very high. And that first year, we won the NIT championship, which was a great milestone, probably in my coaching career. And it also, for the University of Tulsa, being their first anything except for a conference tie championship back in 1955. However, now that the four years have gone by past that uh, NIT championship, we won a lot of basketball games, especially there in Tulsa, and especially at the Assembly Center, where we do not really call it a home. It's a home away from home. But any time you win that many ball games and you've had some successful seasons year in and year out, then the expectations from the players, you, you know, you created a monster, and we've got a big monster. And of course, I call the monster Nolan Richardson. And therefore, you know, they expect for us to win. And, and that's nothing wrong with expecting, because I expect for our teams to be able to do some of the winning also. 
coaching philosophy, Nolan? Uh, did anyone have a special impact on you? And, and has your philosophy evolved now from the high school, junior college into the major college ranks? Well, I think uh, the guy that I probably followed more than, than any person was a guy I played for named Coach Don Haskins at the University of Texas. However, back in my days, it was called Texas Western, and we used to look up quite a bit with Wichita in those days. But his philosophy on defense and his philosophy about players were the keys to the, that maybe mold what I feel. Secondly, I think offensively we separate from that part because he was more of a control basketball coach and I'm more of an up-tempo, but I'm an up-tempo person. I'm an aggressive person, so I feel that things should be moved a little bit faster. And I think that's the key to anyone. I think we, we do things the way we feel. And defense is really one of the key parts that I try to stress the most. I have our offense. Uh, I want to play up-tempo because I enjoy the game and I want our players to enjoy it. Coach, we often get colorful shots of, of you and your cohorts on the sidelines uh, dealing with the officials. Is there an art to working at official, and uh, is it really part of the coaching game? Well, I think there's always two games going on, and I think the officials realize there's two games. There's a game on the floor, and there's a game that you have to play. I think the key is not so much an intimidation-type game. I think that sometimes there are times that it's time for a person to do something where his team will be uh, get fired up and play basketball. Uh, on the other hand, there's sometimes a call that really is a questionable call and not that you're going to change the opinion of the official at that point but you want him to realize that you're there and you're fighting for your kids and you have an occupation and our occupation is year round you're happy with the progress you made you have to be well i'm definitely happy but i think we can do a little bit more i think in time i will be able to show that and of course we're going to have our ups and our downs but hopefully we'll have better ups and we'll have downs well the valleys have been few for nolan richardson who has compiled a record of 113 and 33 at Tulsa University. Well, you know, college back at sack. Byron Boudreau, number 21 on the drive. Nicely done. Tulsa now leading by 12, largest lead of the afternoon. Here's the steal by Harris. Herbert Johnson breaks it ahead. McKinney. Vince Williams makes it good. And immediately we get the turnover, resulting in a high percentage shot and an easy basket for the Hurricane. 14 point late, Harris on the steal again against our line. This is Harris. Six great points in less than a minute. Coach Smithson wants a timeout and he wants it right now. You heard the interview at halftime about Coach Richardson talking about the defense and you've just seen a good example of that. 19 minutes, 19. They're, they want Carr at the line. They are right. Carr was the man who was pushed to the floor, and Papke went to the line. Papke had the ball. We need to talk about that a little bit. We'll talk about it when we come back. How's 10 that, Wayne? 42 left to go. 10:42 remaining to be played. Tulsa leading at the moment by five. Clint Normore, Xavier McDaniel inside of the ball, taken away by Byron Boudreau. Technical foul called on Gene Smithson. Uh, Coach Smithson threw a towel out on the floor, almost hit the official with it. As a matter of fact. He earned that technical. No question about it. He wanted a foul on the steal. Didn't get it and voiced his opinion. And so technical foul is called. It'll be a two shot foul. Steve Harris at the line. The postseason began at home for Wichita State. Saturday, the Shockers of Coach Eddie Fogler rebounded from a 19-point deficit to oust Creighton 73-70. Steve Dreyer providing 19 points, 9 rebounds in the school's 20th victory of the season. And certainly a sigh of relief from the face of... Two nights later, still on their home floor, the Shockers erased a 15-point second-half deficit to eliminate Illinois State in dramatic fashion, 56-53. The Shocker defense held the Redbirds to just 5 points in the final 11 minutes. Those victories landed Wichita State in the second time in three years. The Golden Hurricane, Missouri Valley Conference regular season champs had a bye in the first round. Coach J.D. Barnett's postseason team began play on Monday night with a tougher than expected 61-56 victory over Southern Illinois. So tonight, the Wichita State Shockers beat the Tulsa the title. Tulsa only has one more timeout. They won't use it here to Icy. the one and one Lloyd rebound Tulsa still has a prayer coming up half a minute to go David Moore time out Wichita State Tulsa back to within two with 27 seconds 
in to go. Was that some kind of pressure shot, Wayne? The defender was up in his face, even made him change the trajectory of the shot, and it hit nothing but net. 32 points now for Dick. Gus Santos on the all-important inbound. He can run the floor. Balls a timeout. No, did he get it off in time? No. Ron Fletcher made the call on the baseline. Santos did not get it off in time. I didn't have a clock on it, but I'll tell you what, that is a key play. I think it was a quick five seconds. I can't say I didn't have a clock on it, but Santos sure was pressured. Tulsa to tie or take the lead with a three-point field goal. They want to make sure they get the tie. Wichita State's in a zone. Time left in the game, lower right of your screen. Wichita State must know where the shooters are at, where David Moss and Tracy Moore are at. Moss to tie, comes up short. Royster, the rebound on a fade off the top. on this shot. Watch it. Talk about a moon shot. Best wishes. That's a prayer shot. Watch it from the baseline. There's David Moss. Tough shot from there. Look at the rebound over at Dunovich. Great rebound. And then, as he was falling away, Donald Royster. David Moss really got a good shot that time, Wayne. He was penetrating down to the area which he could make some shots. He was a little short. The key was Royster played the shot when it left his hands as a miss. And all great rebounders play all shots as if they're going to be missed. Ten points in the game for Don Royster. But none bigger than those two. Moss, the 32 points, has carried the mail from an offensive stand. You know the ball is going to be in shooter's hands for Wichita State. Radutovich looking on the inbound just did get it in in time. Pass stolen by Brian Lloyd for the win. Did he get it off in time? An air ball. We will go to overtime. Tulsa has come from behind to catch Wichita. And we'll go to an extra session. Wichita State and Tulsa are tied at 70. We'll return to the convention center line for Radutovich. Crucial one and one. The man has ice in his veins, doesn't he? He's had a great three or four week here at the close of the season. Has been restrained by foul difficulties tonight, but he makes a couple of crucial free throws restores a four-point Wichita lead and Tulsa has 13 seconds left to go it's gonna be very tough right now they need a three-pointer two at the worst and they need to by Wichita State on the inbound pass Byron Boudreau Boudreau from three-point range car up high for the rebound knocked away player corrals and is fouled down low seconds to go Wichita State will earn the Valley's guaranteed bid to the NCAA. Fantastic finish to a storybook year for Wichita State. Coming in here at Tulsa, something that's very tough to do in the Valley, win on the road. What a finish. Third personal foul on Tracy Moore. Steve Grayer at the free throw line for Wichita State. One and one. These things are not really important. It's just a matter of pride now. To dramatize the accomplishment by Wichita State, Tulsa in the last six years on this floor had won 11 of 119 games here in Tulsa. Tough to beat the Hurricane here. 
Gary Cundiff has been selected as the outstanding player of the game. Piece of uh, paper. Steve Dreyer at the line for a second. He's had a good ball game. 14 points. Eight of which came in the first half. To go in overtime, Dreyer trying to put the icing on the championship. Lloyd spins and fires from center court on deep from near the circle, and that is it. To the Wichita State Shockers, they have defeated the Tulsa Golden Hurricane here tonight in overtime, 79 to 74. Tulsa makes it very interesting down the road, sending it. In.